Tiki Kiwi Designs. Heart healing, earth saving, life changing. Kia ora everyone. Um, just a very quick video today. I want to show you, I've um, got some fantastic material that is just about gone and I've been making these gorgeous um, copper cuff bracelets and I just want to give you a quick insight into how I do them. Um, the first material that I use, um, the, the actual copper comes from this. This is um, flashing. It's recycled. It's from houses. Um, the, the flashing, it's, it's like a copper sheet. It's uh, really old. It's really dirty. Um, it's fantastic stuff to work with. I'm going to show you how I go about using it. Okay, so first thing we've got with our copper flashing here. Um, I use these tin snips. They are, these ones are pretty old actually. These ones are my dad's. Um, so they probably aren't the sharpest but they do the trick. So with the copper flashing, the way to, to cut it, I, I cut my cuffs in two sizes. So one is four centimeters or just shy of two inches and the other one is right on one inch. So 2.5 centimeters in width. And with the with the um, copper, copper flashing and the tin snips, like everything I do, a little bit goes a long way. So it's very hard work. I have people ask me why I don't just go and buy some copper sheet, pre-cut, make it easy. But I genuinely believe that we've got enough materials in the world already without having to go and create new. And a lot of this just goes to scrap to make that copper sheet. So let's... Uh, Let's save a few resources and just go straight to the copper flashing. So, first thing I do is cut strips like this. Now I'm going to show you what I do with it. This is the really cool part. Okay, so I've cut my, my um, copper strip. Um, what I want to show you now is, like with anything, um, I anneal the metal. Now, I haven't shown you this process before. Um, this is the process of heating it. Now, I use a, a blowtorch. Um, just what we want to do is it actually changes the structure of the, of the metal and it makes it much easier to work. So, hopefully I'm not going to torch the camera, but this is the torch I use. Now, we're going to, hopefully I'll be able to show you how we get this. Woo! We don't want to melt the copper, so, right, what we're trying to do is simply heat the copper, and you see it changing colour. points for not touching the blimmin thing because it is super hot but what we've done is we've annealed it we've pretty much fried it um, and what I do is I leave it you can quench it by sticking it under cold water I actually like to leave it to cool by itself because you get a different color um, this one here has we've actually it's a bit hard to show in the video but we've actually got a really really cool purple purple shade cool Okay, so here we go. We've got the, the copper, um, it's been annealed and it is, I've shaped it, rounded the edges off for the cuff. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see the beautiful heat colours in that. It goes from this gorgeous orange through to a purples and greens and right through to this dark charred with the, with the copper coming through underneath. Um, I like to leave it like this rather than polishing it. And then the next step is, um, as per the cuff, that I showed you earlier. What we do is we take a bit of wire, um, I rivet this wire on, I stamp it with the phrases. This one says, Kia kaha, kia maya, kia manawanui, which means um, be strong, be brave, be steadfast, and um, rivet it on and then shape 
and sand the edges so that it's lovely and soft. Uh, these will be available in my shop now, so head on over and grab some while you can because once they're gone, they're gone. There's not going to be any more. Enjoy. Head on over to tikikiwi.com to secure your copper cuff before they run out. You can select from your personal phrase of choice or from a selection of wonderful, meaningful Maori phrases. Kia kaha.